The EV segment is dominated by US-made models. January 15, 2023. Electrification is expected to bring a serious boost to the United States economy. As more and more models are produced locally. According to the registration data from Experian. Via Automotive News. About 75% of all electric cars. Registered in the first 11 months of 2022 were produced in the US that's a very significant portion and the share of US made BE versus is expected to further increase thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act IRA, which incentivizes local production of electric vehicles and batteries. Vehicles that do not comply with the IRA requirements will not be eligible for up to $7,500 of the federal tax credit, which is a massive competitive disadvantage. The top brand in the BEV segment through November was Tesla with 431,740 units and a share of 64% compared to 303,129 units and 70% share in 2021. All of the Tesla vehicles were also produced in the US. The second most popular brand during the period was Ford. But its most popular BEV the Ford Mustang Mach-E was produced in Mexico. BEV registrations in the US by brand January November 2022. Tesla, 431,740. Up 42%, and 64% share of the market. Model Y, 200,592. Model 3, 175,661. Model X, 30,125. Model S, 25,362. Ford. 7.4% 7.4% share. Chevrolet, 4.7% share. Kia, 4.0% share. Hyundai, 3.7% share. Volkswagen, 2.4% share. Audi, 2.2% share. Rivian, 1.9% share. Overall, BE Versus accounted for 5.4% of new car registrations in the US during the first 11 months of 2022. Compared to 3% in 2021. We assume that the gradual electrification of transportation will bring significant improvements in all areas. Because not only will a higher percentage of vehicles be produced locally, but also batteries and other elements will be produced locally. On top of that, electricity is produced locally, at a growing percentage from renewable energy sources. Premium luxury segment. The progress is probably the highest in the premium luxury car segment, which thanks to Tesla is now not only more electrified, but also a higher percentage of vehicles are locally produced. Premium brand registrations in the US January to November 2022. Tesla, 431,740 up 42%. BMW, 296,669 down 6.4%. Mercedes-Benz, 247,932 down 0.6%. Lexus, 242,611 down 17%. Source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at InsideEVS.com. My take. Of course Tesla leads the pack. The other companies seem to be slipping. Tesla price cuts due in part to partial normalization of cost inflation. January 15, 2023. As you've likely already heard. Tesla dropped its prices across its entire lineup. And while they're all notable reductions, some are huge. It seems the company is trying to boost the demand for its vehicles. And it's happening in various global markets. However, a spokesperson has provided another reason for the price cuts. According to a recent article published by Electrek, a Tesla spokesperson in Germany recently commented on Tesla's price cuts across the globe. At the end of a turbulent year with interruptions to the supply chain, We have achieved a partial normalization of cost inflation, which gives us the confidence to pass this relief on to our customers. Tesla's global vice president Grace Tao has made similar statements about the recent price cuts in China amid protests. Imagine buying a Model Y in the recent past only to learn that it's now $13,000 less expensive. Or over $20,000 if you factor in the revamped US federal tax credit. That's what's about to happen. And a similar situation in China is causing protests. Never mind people being upset or jealous. But their new Tesla EVs will immediately be worth much less. Tesla's used car prices, which were finally coming down, will likely be impacted as well. Just a quick search will show you that most pre-owned Tesla models are now more expensive than new versions. Though that will quickly change.
CEO Elon Musk warned of inflation and a potential recession last year. And Tesla raised its prices over and over, since the demand was still so high for the vehicles, and the waiting list so long. The company sometimes wasn't delivering cars until many months after people placed the orders. Not knowing what the economy and costs would be in the future, the high prices provided a cushion. Tesla nearly hit its production record for 2022, but was unable to deliver all the cars, likely due to waning demand and people waiting for word on the new tax credit in the US while it seems discounts and incentives helped. It wasn't enough, with Tesla stock in shambles and Elon Musk's reputation in question. It's probably not a good time for the US EV maker to suffer another rough year since its margins are ridiculously high, and it seems costs are finally coming down. It has decided to lower prices, and not just by a little. It's hard to even consider the fact that the best-selling EV in the US and one of the best-selling cars in the world, the Tesla Model Y SUV, can now be had for over $20,000 less with the tax credit. And, at least for now, it seems you can take delivery rather quickly, as Tesla ramps up factories across the globe streamlines its manufacturing processes, and further reduces costs, it may be able to become even more price competitive. With all of that said, while these huge price cuts will likely help Tesla sell a ton more cars, they're going to be a red flag for investors. In addition, we don't yet know how much impact they will have on Tesla's financial situation. While a significant increase in deliveries will help Tesla immensely, a huge drop in revenue will do the opposite. Source. Reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at InsideEVS.com. My take, it's about time that prices for everything start to come down again. Tesla in autopilot safely avoids accident in Louisiana. January 15, 2023, a Tesla Model 3 owner is thanking Tesla's autopilot for slowing down and safely avoiding an accident along I-10 in Baton Rouge. Louisiana. On Saturday, Model 3 owner William Sellers was driving with the software engaged, when unexpectedly, a driver pulled out directly in front of him. Hashtag FSDBiter reacted well and safely slowed, avoiding an accident. William tweeted, this person pulled out onto the interstate right in front of me. Hashtag FSDBiter reacted well and safely slowed, avoiding an accident. Pick.twitter.com WTSIACL Pudge, William Sellers at W Sellers January 14, 2023. Based on the dash cam footage of the incident he shared, a car that was parked on the shoulder of the highway suddenly moved into William's lane. The advanced software quickly reacted and slowed down. I was going 65 on the highway when he pulled out right in front of me. William told Tesla RT over the phone, adding that FSD beta reacted quickly and safely. In September 2022, a Tesla owner with FSD beta engaged said that he was saved from a head-on collision by the software. In 2021, we reported on another example of the software saving the life of a few FSD beta testers. In 2022, Tesla's FSD beta grew around 475% year over year, with 78% of that since the third quarter of last year. As of December 29, 2022, Tesla's FSD beta program had a total of 285,000 users. Tesla's FSD beta is much more advanced than its autopilot driver assistance system, and Tesla has been releasing quarterly vehicle safety reports for autopilot for the past few years. The results suggest that using autopilot, the lesser advanced version compared with FSD beta, makes driving significantly safer. In the latest report, which shows data for the third quarter of 2022, Tesla found that vehicles with autopilot engaged registered one crash for every 6.26 million miles driven. For drivers who weren't using autopilot in the same period, Tesla registered one crash for every 1.71 million miles driven. Although autopilot and FSD are two levels of Tesla's technology, the data from the company's vehicle report suggests that it is safer to drive with the technology engaged than it is without. In the case of William Sellers, it proved to avoid a potential accident. Update. The Tesla owner has confirmed that his Model 3 was using was autopilot and not FSD beta. This article has been updated to include the correction source. Reposted and summarized from John Acrider at teslarty.com. My take. Tesla will continue to save more and more people with its groundbreaking FSD system. North America's largest lithium supply to be developed with DOE help. 
January 15, 2023. The U.S. Department of Energy has announced that it will loan $700 million to mining company Ionia to develop lithium reserves found in Nevada. As the U.S. battery belt continues to develop, the demand for raw lithium to produce batteries has rapidly increased. Nowhere has this been better seen than in the price of raw lithium, which has skyrocketed over the past few months and has, in turn, contributed to the elevated prices of electric vehicles. Now, a new source of lithium found within the state of Nevada, will be developed by the mining company Ionia, with help from a $700 million loan from the Department of Energy. The lithium project, called the Rear Light Ridge Project, is located in Esmeralda County, Nevada, situated between Reno and Las Vegas. According to Ionia, it is the largest known lithium and boron deposit in North America. Simply put, the resources on site have the potential to immediately make a positive environmental and economic impact locally, nationally, and globally. The mine is expected to produce enough lithium for 370,000 EVs annually after reaching full extraction and production. Ionia has not specified when construction or production will begin, as the time frame highly depends on the final permitting process. As noted in reporting by Reuters. This loan would be the first in Doe history that would be directed at the development of lithium production in the United States. Still, it is far from the only investment Doe is making into making electric vehicles more affordable overall. Earlier this week, the Doe announced a $42 million package directed specifically at making electric vehicles more affordable over the coming years. The $42 million package includes funding for 12 projects to improve EV technology and make vehicles more affordable for average Americans. These projects are directed at everything from improving battery energy density, improving cold weather performance, reducing the cost of production, and much more. Electric vehicle sales in America have tripled since the start of this administration. And by addressing battery efficiency, resiliency, and affordability, the projects announced today will make EVs attractive to even more drivers, said U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer M. Granholm. This is a win-win for our efforts to fight climate change and power America's clean transportation future with technologies produced by researchers and scientists right here at home. As electric vehicles continue to grow in popularity, not only in the United States but globally, more lithium projects are expected and necessary to feed the market, hopefully, through diligent work from the mining companies, the DOE, and the EPA. These projects can feed that demand and can do so safely and efficiently. Source. Reposted and summarized from William Johnson at TeslaRT.com. My take. In the very near future, we are going to need as much lithium as we can get.